happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics. And today we have a Will Joseph Cook Top 10 Songs with Videos reaction brought to us by our friend, longtime supporter and patron of the channel, Ian. Thank you, Ian. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. We could not do it without you. If you'd like to check out our Patreon, what we can do for you, check out the Patreon link below the patron link on the end screen. All right, I've never even heard of Will Joseph Cook. There's no research out there for Will Joseph Cook. I'm the research guy. There's none of it out there. So Ian knows about him, obviously. So we'll, we'll see what Ian has to say. Is it something a little different this month? I've wanted to do a Will Joseph Cook top 10 or album reaction for ages, but Will's videos are often so engaging. I can't really separate them from the songs they accompany. So here's my top 10 Will Joseph Cook songs with videos. Many of his videos are produced under the Bad Hotel banner with filmmakers like Bertie Gilbert. The videos are usually a work of art in their own right. WJC is experimenting with different styles of music from soulful folk songs to epic indie pop tunes. And although he's not made it really big, he's had a lot of successful tours and YouTube views. I've seen my himself, I've seen him play half a dozen times and he always sticks around at the end of the, to chat to the fans. At the LA gig, pretty much the whole audience waited for a one-to-one. -one. Super friendly and even remembered me, the crazy guy telling him to listen to David Devont and his spirit wife. So he gets top marks for being a good guy. And that is always nice to hear, right? If you haven't been with us before, the music, and in this case, the videos, will not be in the video, but it'll be at a Vimeo link below. Click on that and follow along because, like, it's videos. So go watch them with us. And we're going to kick it off at number 10 with July. Ian says, unsurprisingly, from July 2014, arguably this shouldn't be in the list as it pushes out some nearly, some that nearly made it, but it's nice to see early Will. It's a charming video and not a bad song. His vocals have changed so much from these early performances. I like the guitar with a hole. You can see the same on many of his early live performances. This guy has practiced guitar a lot. All right, I'm also going to, not at the same time, but I'm going to the lyrics up so I can look at him after I watch the video. So uh, thanks again to Ian. Let's go. All right, July, good song, man. Acoustic, fantastic. I jumped the gun a little bit on the video. I took the headphones off, but it wasn't quite done. It sort of really was done, but I wanted to make sure. Um, Love his voice. Really well done video, right? There's not a lot going on. There doesn't have to be, right? It looks like my, my room in 1984. I like the old TV turntable with a cassette deck built in. But I like how the lights go on one by one at the start and then they go off as he kind of gets more despaired. I just want to love you again. I just want to be a friend. I just want to love you again. It's really well done. And next up, we got the song Down, Down, Down. You see it below. I'll put up the Spotify bar when the song's actually on Spotify. But I mean, we're not playing on Spotify. Ian says, a slightly trippy Bad Hotel video directed by Bertie Gilbert. Simple lyrics with top tune honestly could have been replaced by any of the nearly made it, but choices have to be made. That is correct. If you've ever done a top 10 for us or just done one on your own and try to figure out, uh, there's some tough cuts, right? There's some tough things to leave off. All right, down, down, down. What a good song, right? Will looks a lot different, right? The mustache, the hair's a little bit different. A, a very clever video going through the door that's different colors as he comes out doing different things in different locations, but so well done, man. Golly, that's two songs that are fantastic. This one, you know, he's back in town after they broke up, and I think he hooked up with somebody else just to get over that feeling. That never works, boys and girls. It may work for the moment, but it doesn't work long term, but wow, that was good. Number eight, you see it right there, driverless cars. Ian says, I just love the bass on this song. Starts with that catchy chorus. The video is so much fun. It's nice to see people from the band and Will's friends. Just a quirky and funky song. The song is better than the video here. And what a while we're going to have a video that's better than the song. Let's go. All right, driverless cars. I thought that video was pretty darn good. It took a lot of work, right? Kind of looking through the fish eye the whole time. But I thought it was really cool, man. The song is, is awfully good. The bass line, the hand claps, and I mean, the, the subject matter. Like he's with her and he knows he likes her, but he just can't seem to be satisfied. He doesn't really know what he wants. And some of us have been through those things in life where it doesn't matter, man. You know you should be happy, but you can't get totally there. Like you're missing something. So I thought that was really well conveyed there. Next up at number seven, we got The Dragon. Ian says this song has such an upbeat vibe combined with a colorful and striking video. The vid video is better than the song here. So the opposite of the last song. All right, The Dragon. So the song, I mean, he just wants to have a good time. He just wants to be the dragon. He just wants to drag you down with all these difficult things that he talks about going on in the world. I thought the video was fantastic. And the videos have all the little touches, right? That's what brings him above some other videos. You'll see like, even when he's, he wants to work it out with everybody, get along with everybody. So they're all standing in line at the barbecue at his house and he flips the burgers over and they have work it out. Like just all the different things. But that was really good. Really fun. 
Next up at number six, we got Punching. Ian says, what a super fun video. Not a bad song either. Meeting your par partner's parents is always a challenge. Tell you stories, man. Tell you stories. The Bertie Gilbert film craft elevates the song. Very few music videos have me laughing intentionally, but this one achieved it. Mm, setting a high bar here, Ian. All right, Punching. A great video. Really a great video. I enjoyed that immensely, man. That's a big dude. That's a big dude. Will out there doing straight up pull-ups, man, as a guy who spends a lot of time in the gym in his life. Pretty impressive doing three of those. Just, you know, he looks like he could have done more, but, you know, the dad's got to play the intimidating role. Um, and then he loosens up at the end when Will figures out that he has a Blur CD and some other things to start playing guitar, having fun and shooting off the fireworks, man. It's really, really well done. And by the way, I don't do that to any boys that my daughter brings around. I had that done to me a ton, the whole intimidation thing. It's kind of juvenile in a lot of ways. Sorry if you're watching this and you do it, but it's kind of juvenile. All right, well, next up, we're into the top five. We've got Sweet Dreamer. September 2016 was a top year for Will, so probably 2016. This video and song are total fire. All right, Sweet Dreamer, really good song. You know, to ask her just to come back and be the Sweet Dreamer. You know, they can dream. They don't have to, they don't have to deal with everything in the moment, but... Great video, all kinds of stuff going on. Got the egg yolk coming back this time on top of his head. In the last video, he had to drink it Rocky Balboa style. But just all the different costume changes. Having to sing as the robot up there. I mean, Will goes all in for these, but another fantastic song. All right, next up at number four, we got Be Around Me. A modern love story set in a retro Windows wallpaper. Will duets with Chloe, Chloe Moriando. Will is super goofy and upbeat as always. Feel Good is set to max on this one. Something to feel good about, Ian says. All right, a modern day love story be around me. I, I love the video, so colorful, so much surreal stuff, right? They're just green screened into so many different situations, but you know, Will afraid that he messed it up, but they're falling in love. But I thought their voices worked really well together. Chloe was fun and I thought her voice was really good. All right, next up at number three, we got Girls Like Me. Ian says, Girls Like Me is another 2016 killer video. It's just amazingly created with Will and Drag and one of his best tunes, 11 million viewers on YouTube. Can't be wrong. Of course they can't. All right, my man, Will Joseph Cook, dating himself. So many of I mean, that took a while to like dress in all of that stuff. So he's doing the speed dating, which I've never done in my life. I would have, it would have been like interesting to do one time when I was younger. My wife might be a little upset if I did it now. Um, but just, uh, just well done. And he's, he's done all these things, trying to find this girl. And then he's just walking down the street and, you know, it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a fairy tale. They run into each other. He finds the girl of his dreams, but really well done. All right, at number two, we got Take Me Dancing. Ian says, June 2016's Take Me Dancing is a wonderful pop song with more than a million views on YouTube. Will's voice has matured massively since his 2014 July video. A sentimental and thoughtful story told well. The video is next level set in the art typical modern office. It's creative and endearing. All right, we got Julian and Emily here. What a video, Take Me Dancing. I've never worked in a large office like that. I mean, I've worked in a smaller office where I have my own office, but like never anything like that. But it's probably the dream to have the run of the place. They just get to do all this cool stuff. Uh, you know, I like the start of it where he says, I hate you all, but then he changes it up. And so it talks about the Tuesday sales meeting, I think is what he typed on there. But a really fun song. I bet this was really fun to shoot. And then a cool way at the end where the, it's playing in the background as they're on the elevator and not looking at each other. But fun song. All right, we're to number one. You see it below Beach. I want to make you mine. My number one favorite WJC song and video is Beach from 2000, February 2017. It's cinematic, beautiful, and a wonderful song. Combined, it should have been a smash hit. A 10 out of 10 song for Ian. All right, Beach, I want to make you mine. What a fantastic song. What a fantastic video. So catchy, right? So catchy. And the video is set there modern day Bonnie and Clyde, right? They're holding up places. But the video is so brilliant because they're in the car. They're green screening stuff on the sides and in front of them. But then towards the end of the video... After she gets shot, they actually show them in those scenes. And then he drives off the cliff, right? Because if she's going to die because she was shot in the chest, he doesn't want to live anymore. He wants to make her mind. So fantastic way to end this list. And a great choice for number one. All right, now we're going to get to my favorite tracks. You know what? I always put down faves, honorable mentions when I listen to them. I didn't put anything on any of these. All these songs are great. I mean, they really are. They're all great. All the videos are great. The songs are great. I don't even really want to pick favorites, but I mean, I always do. Obviously, the last song, Beach, Take Me Dancing, Girls Like Me, Be Around Me, the top four, but I mean, I also like Driverless Cars, Sweet Dreamer. I mean, I liked them all, but we'll go with those, however many I just gave you, six. But let me know what you think below. Man, I hope people watch this video. Will Joseph Cook, 
I'm going to keep an eye out. If he ever comes to Dallas, Texas, I don't know, man, but I live in a big place. There's 8 million people that live here. So if he ever comes here, I'm going to go check him out. And that's saying something because I don't go to many concerts. It's kind of difficult for me to do, but uh, fantastic stuff. So thank you to Ian for bringing this. Let me know your favorite tracks below. And until next time, guys, I will see you.